Welcome back aliens, my name is Devin Reddy and let's continue with this series on Django. In the last video, we were able to work with PG admin, so we got our database and tables as well. And those tables has been created with the help of Django, right? So we have not even written one line of SQL query to create tables. But then if you look at the tables, it's empty, right? So if I go back to my PG admin, if I look at the table, it's empty. Okay, but then uh, we made one mistake in the last session. So I've made some changes and that's why you can see price here. But what we missed is in the model, we, have, we were working with integer field and we, we, have, we forgot to give a round bracket. If you have done that, that's great. So you don't have to worry about this error. But when I was checking my database, price was missing and then I've done some changes to add it. But how will you get it? How will you add that price? So first of all, we have to make one change. We have to make it integer field. And then another way you can do that is go back to the SQL query and you can alter the table. So we have to write SQL query. You have to say alter table and the table name and you have to add one more column, which is price in this case. That's one way. The another way you can do that is by go doing the re-migration. So again, you have to make the migration. Again, you have to shift. So let's try that. So we will say Python manage.py and here we'll say make migrations. And if I say enter, you can see it will do the migration for you. So it says we are you are trying to add a non-nullable field price to the destination without a default value. So one way you can set a default value here, right? That's one way. Otherwise, you can pass the default value while you are creating one. So instead of changing the, the model, you can pass it here. So let's say I want to add default values. We know we don't have any rows in the database, but still, uh, let's, let's say I want to add the default value as zero. Done, right? We don't have any rows, so it will not affect much. By doing this, if you go back to your PG admin to refresh your table, oh, sorry, we are missing. We have still not migrated, right? Let's do that. So I will say Python manage.py migrate enter my question done, there's no issue. And if I refresh, so you can see we got price. Yeah, but in my case, you can see it says no migration to apply, but in your case, it there will be a migration. So do check that. So that's how we, we do re-migration or what would you say, making migration again. And you can see we got two files now. One is initial migration and second one is destination hyphen price. So that's one more migration we got. So that's how you can do multiple migrations if you want to. So let's say if you make some more changes to the project and if you add more files, then you might need to add more migrations. So that's it from this video where we have talked about migration and again, how to do it. Uh, in the next video, we'll try something amazing stuff with the data. So that's it everyone. Bye-bye.